Good morning, folks. I'm going to introduce what I'm going to do this morning because it takes a little more explanation than some of the others. I took some artistic liberties with this, as you will see, and this was just kind of my idea of how Adam became God's first creation in the Garden of Eden. In my thoughts, there were three sons, not one, and God, in his wisdom, watched these three boys and decided which one he wanted to start the race of mankind. Once upon a long time ago, even before your dad was a kid, there lived in the land of plenty, should've, could've, and did. Should've, could've, and did three sons of a mysterious man. They never knew of their father alone, but in a beautiful land. Their days were all filled with sunshine. They were happy with plenty to eat because in the land of plenty, everything was laid at their feet. Should have and could have could always be found playing and romping around. While did, with any spare time that he had, would be planting more seeds in the ground. Imagination abounded in should've and could've. They could always find new ways to play. But even with such imagination, boredom into their lives found its way. Did could never find enough time to do all the things he would desire. At the end of the day, with a satisfied mind of his efforts, he would retire. Their lives were a continuous pattern, one always doing for two others. Should have and could have could never see nothing wrong with being served by the youngest of brothers. Did was amazed by the growth of his seeds, satisfied by the work of his hand. He'd swell with pride as he viewed his work, flowers all covering the land. Irritation was growing in should have and could have at the end of the day when they were ready to retire. Where is that worthless brother, they'd growl. He should be home building and tending our fire. He's never here when we want to play. Always busy forgetting our needs. He's always doing something annoying. In a land of plenty, he's out planting more seeds. We'll teach him a lesson, they decided. He's forgotten the lessons we've shown. He'll change his ways about serving our needs when we uproot all he has grown. The very day that they had planned their abuse dawned cloudy and was getting cold fast. Did one about gathering more wood. He knew what they had would not last. Each trip he would make took him farther and farther. Each trip he would make with arms full of wood took him further and further away. Tired from his labors, knowing a satisfied mind would be his at the end of the day. Could have and should have filled up their day destroying everything did had ever done. Though it was the hardest of work, they convinced themselves it was fun. Did became lost in the gathering storm. Its ferocity increased with his fear. He stopped to rest in the most beautiful ferns, wishing his brothers were near. The warmth of the ferns was a comfort against a storm like he had never seen, trembling with fright throughout the long night, wondering what could it all mean. With the beckoning light of full morning, he awakened and opened his eyes. He was wrapped in a cloak made of roses, and arising, he looked towards the sky. The heavens opened up full of colors, radiating the most beautiful sound. He was rooted in raptured attention as a brightness ascended the ground. The brightness, like a mist, fell around him, obscuring all else from his sight. The brightness, like a mist, fell around him, obscuring all else from his sight. Erased were the memories of yesterday and the fears he had felt through the night. 
as the music enveloped his senses with melodies that he didn't know, and while kneeling in ferns in a cloak made of roses, his soul became part of the glow. <laughs>